So um, one time I was on a school bus and one of my friends, she was wearing a scarf and somebody called her a terrorist. And we're the same religion, so that kind of hurt me as well, because I'm like, oh, that's not nice. Like, you're just picking on one person of the way they dress. So I identify as a Canadian, South Asian, a Muslim. So my friends would describe me as their child because I'm usually the youngest in the group of my friends and I'm really outgoing. Even if I'm living on really little sleep, I will still have that cheerful personality which people think I'm crazy for. But it's just naturally me though. So I do see a difference if you're born here and if you come from back home, like the way you speak, people will like treat you differently or like just the way you phrase things or ask questions. Like sometimes if you say a sentence and you don't say it the way that it is, would be spoken in the English language, some people may judge you really hard for that and that is truly sad. Uh, when you take that flight, you uh, ours is a developing country, right? So you take that flight to a developed country, you know that it's the biggest step of your life. My name is Abhishek and I'm from the northern part of India, basically Punjab, uh, from a city called Amritsar. And uh, I am 21 years old right now. Uh, I came to Sheridan on uh, uh, 25th December 2016. I remember it was a Christmas day and there wasn't much happening in the city. A lot of snow. But <laughs> I mean, when I came here, I came to know that you were brown, that I'm brown. I mean, I didn't know bra I was brown until I came here. I thought I was white. I was white in India. <laughs> In, in Canada, it's like I have just five S in my life. Those were like study, sleep, struggle, stress, and Sheridan. <laughs> These are the five S in my life. Thank you, Miss, to think about that. In the meantime, there's one more thing I want you to do, and that is at the back of your little name place, I want you to write what your goal is in this My class. only uh, focus coming here was not studies. It was something else. I was here to get married to a person. It was uh, my father's friend. But at the end of the day, this, that didn't happen, so I have to end up getting into the school. But still, I have contact with that family, and um, I don't feel good at all with them, talking to them. So I really miss my parents because I am 18 years of my age. I have never lived without my mother. So when I just came to Canada, my first night was so difficult. I was just crying over why did I step out. When I was in India, whatever I do have problem, I just discuss with my mother and that's it. So she is like, you know, the magic stick. So just she moved that and everything gone. But now I'm in Canada, so whenever I told her about anything, I know I have to deal it alone. 
people have told me that you have surprisingly good accent for an Indian person who has just come to the country like recently. I came to Canada on August 2016. Basically, I gave my parting salute to India on its uh, Independence Day, and then I boarded the flight to Canada. I'm lucky enough that I speak multiple languages, so I can gel well with Punjabis, the mostly Hindi-speaking crowd, and also Tamil-speaking people, also Malayalam, that's the language in Kerala. Uh, so I do live at home and I thankfully work at campus because that's really convenient. So I work at the Booster Juice here. Working does help, but at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of us really do rely on government OSAP to help us pay with our fees. So financial situation in Canada is really tough for an international student because you're paying three times the fees that a domestic student would pay every semester. Most students do work until late night every single day and then sometimes they skip out in school. You know, that, that brings about their grades low, and then it's, it's, like a, it's like a loop, infinite loop that goes on with most students. Even the stress for these studies is so much that uh, I, have, I, have own, I have my own days that I haven't slept for like two, three days continuously going to school, then work, then again school. Didn't have any time to sleep. I used to come to college uh, 9 to 5, then go to factory uh, 11, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. in the night, then come again to college. It used to be repeated <clears throat> every week, five days a week. And at the end of the week, I used to, I just used to sleep all day long. It's so difficult because as I told you, the, my first case when I went there for my job interview, so they just don't hire me because I was from India. Because they were feeling that you have a different accent, you were not able to cope with the, what our in, uh, requirements are. So when we came from India to Canada, there I met some of those who feel like Indians. They are they have they are very unhygienic. They have like stinky smell. So they just want to keep maintain a distance from Indians, especially Indians, because they feel like um, they feel like they are not human beings. I don't know why they get that because we are also the same thing. Being a visible minority does make it difficult at times to, um, I don't know, just to feel like you belong here. Like I've been, I've been here my whole life, I'm born here, I'm raised here, but at the end of the day, if you are a different color, if you speak a different language, if you're anything that's not typically Canadian, you don't, f I feel like a lot of people feel like they don't belong. I went to some jersey store and uh, there were some white people there and uh, the salesperson was dealing with them. I was standing there for since 15-20 minutes. They saw me and they ignored me. I felt so bad, went back home, cried a lot. But I thought that this is the life I have to, I have to, have to go ahead and uh, fulfill my mother's dream. <laughs> I've, I've heard people talk to other people saying that oh, Indian people, they, do, they smell funny, uh, they talk weird. When the person who is trying to express the emotions, who is trying to uh, convey some message, they have a different accent. So the, instead of getting deep into that message, instead of understanding what the person is saying, they just keep on laughing. 
that laughter breaks a person that it's it's just accent it's it has nothing to do with your knowledge of the subject your vocabulary of of the language it's just how people talk if you would uh, introduce yourself say my name is mahadev and i'm looking for a place to stay they might not be very interested but say if you, if you chop down your name from mahadev and to just say devan they don't really know if you're brown you're white they don't really know um i'm not working in the factory anymore it's been a long while i've learned a lot of things now i know which jobs to apply for and which jobs do i deserve i've been uh, since first semester i've been reaching out to the dean of international students here at my college he knows me well he he knows me by, by my name right now i'm in the board of directors i fought for elections and uh, i'm in the senate too i speak up for students and if you go and talk to uh, the president of sheridan the vice president of sheridan student life advisors international dean i've talked to each of them about students so that's how i do my part i want to let people know that if uh, international students are coming to your they have chosen you to be the pathway or of their success then it's 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 your responsibility to to help them in equally respectable way now the things are getting better because the i have because i am into this now i am not running from this being myself is the thing i i collected here the things were different than india but still i managed and uh, made my own path so in our rainy days you know okay you have faced once in your life this kind of situation so at that moment also you never give up so never giving up that kind of spirit help us to deal with different kind of situations because life is not always smooth up and down I, i still introduce myself as mahadev and people know me as mahadev but sometimes it's it's really hard for people to say the entire name mahadevan uh so sometimes they just call me devan but some people do take effort to call uh to to say my full name mahadevan though they say it a bit weird but so right so at the end of the day your voice makes a difference no matter what like You might not think it makes a difference and it might be just you saying one thing but the amount of people it affects that's what's important